Uh, well, my name is Victor Wind and this is my shop. This, this shop is, is really a, a sort of updated version of a traditional cabinet of curiosities or Wunder camera. So most of our clients have Wunder cabinets at home. They don't have to, or they want to have one. Yeah. It's been going for as an idea for about 500, 600 years. Who doesn't want uh, Lichtenstein's Hartebeest on their wall? We've never really been interested in keeping things original. I mean, original to me, it's uh, in the 19th century, if you called something original, it was a way of being insulting, like no one's done that before, and why has no one done it before? Because it's a really crap thing to do. So if anyone ever comes to us with, or we ever think of an original idea, we tend to put it in the bin as quickly as possible. It's the a dance macabre when the dead people come out to play. I mean, it's Halloween, so it, it's supposed to be hell. And if people complain there are too many people, I just say, it's because it's bloody Halloween. We're not supposed to have any nice times. Time for the dead. We've got these sort of abandoned railway arches which are beneath London Bridge. So we go in and Bill was put tents up and put carpets and put fountains fill them with dead creatures. Six months ago I was thinking, what am I going to be doing on the 23rd of October? I've got to do something. But when I'm quite interested in, in well I am interested in shrunken heads and this is a um, person called Piers Gibbon, who made this documentary for the Discovery Channel, no, for the Natural, National Geographic Channel about shrunken heads. He found a, some documentary from the 60s, some people shrinking a head, and he took it into the uh, Peruvian Amazon and found one of the people from that. So I, I asked him if he'd like to come along and talk about shrunken heads, and um, he's coming along.